This time on Find It, Fix It. Hi, this is Michael Street, and today we're looking for termites, but not in the way you may think. This episode may give you the creepy crawlers. Hi, it's Michael again. Faulty roofing installation. It is buggy and moving the entire thing. It's just one nasty bug. This really is the best part of what I do. Howdy, dude. <laughs> this is sloppy yo. Today we're going down under. And we're not talking to Australia. Going places that no one else goes to save you money. <laughs> It amazes me how much termite activity there is here in South Texas. And this property has three specific areas that I thought I would just had to show you. If you're looking for termites at a house you're about to buy, this is really gonna help you. Now, today we're using an infrared thermography camera uh, that will allow us to look behind the walls, the heat signature in the walls. And this is a super valuable tool when you're looking for termites in that house, as opposed to just the tap and knock uh, to find hollow spots in the walls. This really is gonna help you. Let's take a look today. I'm gonna show you three specific spots that are gonna surprise you, I think. Here we go. Here I am underneath the house. This is a pier and beam foundation, as you can see. And look, right here you see mud tubes. Now this one was pretty easy to spot. Um, usually you have to go you know, farther underneath of the crawl space or uh, look in the wood here and do an infrared inspection here. But this one was easy to find. Uh, termite tubes, this is a tunnel. And this is what you're looking for uh, to know for sure that you have termites is a little tube just like that. It's a mud tube and sure enough, there'll be termites here. Uh, let's go to the next one. I'll show you a little more. Well, termites can be kind of difficult to spot, especially because, you know, they're behind the walls, they're in wood. And so I use an infrared thermography camera to help me find heat signatures in the walls. And let me show you what that looks like. As I'm searching here through the house, I'm looking for some very specific signs that there are termites in the walls. And I just happened to see one here that alerted me to uh, a damage outside. And had I not had this camera, there's no way I would have been able to spot these termites. You see that black spot here in the photo? There's a couple of spots here um, that shows uh, some potential damage. And then upon further inspection, um, it's easy to point them out. So uh, this is just above a window here on the front porch, and I'm gonna show you uh, what we found. All right, so just after using the infrared thermography tool, going outside here and looking into the damage on the camera, and lo and behold, subterranean termites here in the roof decking. We create these little galleries here and just destroy the wood in the house. So we've seen termites in the roof decking, uh, we need to go look in the attic and see if they're anywhere else, how much damage they've actually done to the structure of the roof and anywhere else in the walls. And let's uh, go in the attic and we'll see what we can find. So here we are in the attic and after looking around, let me show you what I found. Pretty easy to see termite tunnels in the roofing members all the way up here in the attic. Take a look. Wow, termites in the attic, all the way into the attic rafters. Let's go downstairs and see if we can look a little more with the infrared thermography tool and see what else we can find. And after taking another look around the house, I happened upon this section near the front of the house. And you can see here this kind of black movement here along the wall. And that indicates termites there as well. Just a little bit of info on what to look for and where to look for termites. We found mud tubes in the crawl space. We also used the infrared thermography tool to spot termites in the walls and were able to see their galleries in the roof decking on the porch. Then going into the attic, we saw termites had built their galleries in the attic trusses and we spotted them. We know they're there now and we can now get estimates on what it costs to fix them and estimates on a termite remediation. So if you want to identify what termites or bugs that you found at a house that you're looking at, just send me a message, send me a photo and I'll be happy to help you. Michael Street, Fidelity Home Inspection, going places that no one else goes to save you money. And I hope to talk to you soon. Professionalism, thoroughness. Um, this is the second time I've used Michael and uh, can't say enough about him. Uh, potentially saved me 15000 on the first house which we walked away from and uh, could potentially save you the same. Fully recommend Michael.
Thank you.